but there's three words I want you, I'm going to probably say lots of times I want to drum into you, and I do want you to write these down. Done beats perfect. So I've been thinking a lot recently about what does success mean? In particular, what does success mean to me? And a friend of mine actually put a post up on Facebook uh, last week saying, you know, what is success? What is your definition of success? And mine's changed over time. I've actually got another friend that authored a book all about success, and I'm quoted in the book giving my definition of success. But that's not the definition I wanna give you now. The definition I wanna give you right now is this. For me, success equals serenity. When I say serenity, what I'm talking about is peace of mind. I'm talking about being comfortable in your own skin. And this very much builds on what I was talking about in yesterday's episode. So the first thing you need to have to achieve anything in life is complete self-honesty. You know, the importance of knowing yourself, like truly knowing yourself, like being honest with yourself about who you really are. And I'm gonna be honest with you right now and say that that's something I never used to be very good at. You know, I suffered from depression for a decade, you know, slightly more than a decade. And during that period, my biggest issue, I think, was I was uncomfortable being me. I didn't like who I was. Or I didn't, oh, maybe that's not even the right words. I don't think I really knew who I was. Because I was so busy trying to be whoever I thought you wanted me to be. You know, I was so busy trying to fit in that I kind of lost my own sense of self. I lost my own set of values. I lost my own beliefs about what was important in life, which meant that I never really had peace of mind. And I think that's what led to my depression ultimately, was I didn't, you know, I couldn't be me because I didn't even know who me was. And so if you want to know what success is, for me, success is serenity, it's peace of mind. It's knowing and being who you truly are. But to do that, you've got to have rigorous self-honesty. You've got to see things as they actually are and be able to accept them as they actually are. You're not making things worse than they are, not making things better than they are, but seeing the reality. I believe there are five subconscious rules that dictate pretty much every decision we make. One of those rules is all about untruths. As in, what are the things that we believe to be true that actually aren't? You know, what are the things that we take to be the reality, but they're not the reality at all? And here's the thing. All you have to be able to do is disprove something and you know it's an untruth. So if you've got this belief of, I don't know, let me just pick on an example. Yeah, maybe you've got a belief that the whole world hates you. Or you've got to find one person that likes you. You know, or the world's out to get you. All you've got to do is find one person that's prepared to help you. Yeah, any of those kind of situations in life, you only have to find one thing that proves the belief wrong, and suddenly you can eliminate it. And when it comes to self-acceptance, when it comes to self-honesty, one of the things we have to do is test our beliefs. Test our beliefs to see if they are true or not. And if they're not, maybe we can upgrade them to a better belief.